the Virginia Cavaliers. Their guards are really good. Um, when you have three guards like they have that can dribble past shoots, they spread the floor, they're averaging, you know, 16, 15, 14, and then athletic fours and fives. Um, complete, and Coach Ellis, he's got so much experience. You know, he's won so many games and been there. Um, but they're, I, I like what their guards do. You, you have to certainly spread out and you're gonna have to really defend. And I think they're very sound defensively the way they've, they've been playing um, as of late. So certainly a well-coached team, but, but some talented players and guys that can shoot and bounce it. It was a junior, sophomore, junior, Green Bay. We were playing at Clemson and played against this team with Dale Davis. They had a heck of a team and played him down there. So I didn't think he'd remember me, but um, we talked about that. So that was the time, and, and he um, he knows my father, obviously, in the coaching circles, but it goes back that, that long ago. One, two, three, ten. We watched film the last couple of days on them. Uh, they seem like a very, you know, very good team, very guard oriented. Uh, you know, they have three very capable guards that are all, you know, able to come, come out and contribute on any given night. Certainly played a good team um, in that Florida game. I, we weren't as deep. Uh, we were kind of limping into that tournament. We weren't as deep, and I think we're playing better basketball up to this point. We have more depth, and you know, I don't know if I'd say I guess we probably have more maturity, more playing experience, but uh, I think the depth is probably the biggest difference. I, I felt like two years ago, um, you know, kind of being on the bubble and not being sure, and um, I, I feel like this team has a lot more confidence heading into the, into the tournament. Um, I feel like we're, we've been playing better basketball also. Um, that team two years ago, um, we, we had lost some games down the stretch and you know, we kind of stumbled into the tournament, but this year I feel like we, uh, we're playing good basketball. Um, we're a, a much more confident team. And, um, a little bit more experience also. Yeah, we believe that we could have a chance to get to a point like this, but um, you know, coming in, you don't really have, uh, you know, I guess those lofty of expectations. You know, you're more concerned with just uh, trying to turn the program around from, you know, where they were. You know, they had a couple of losing seasons before before Akil and I got here, and even our first year, we had a losing year. So it was more just, you know, trying to improve on what we did from the season before and worrying about that rather than looking too far ahead of what you know could possibly be in the future. I was always with my father in those situations, always was a major rebuild, always had to figure out, and there, there's incredible wisdom. Um, that experience is priceless to go through that and see if, if you stick with it, if you get the right guys, if you can get some maturity. Um, no guarantee you're going to win championships, but you can become competitive and then you, then you can become successful. I watched it play out three separate occasions. And, you know, being a newer coach, the one thing that I think I gained from that more than anything is when you're going to go through the hard times, which are inevitable, that, that's usually when you're not as willing to stick to your guns. So we're going to do it this way. I know what I want. I know the vision. Usually when you hit the bumps in the road, that's when you say, we, we got to make some wholesale changes. i got to change my philosophy. i got to change a lot of things. And I think those experiences um, shape me as much as anything. All right, let's get this thing done right. Eight, Eight, the other three. One, two, three. Let's go. Go. Big bump. Big bump.